wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite res- I wondered if you might make it here. quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator.
I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Only opens with a key. No way to pick this.
useless. Can't pick this. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <gasps> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean! I'm your father! Talk to me! Just open the door! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean, S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the... Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute, just as... as you mean to your son, to Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed, 
Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111, an infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? She was murdered! Killed? Yes. Murder. I'm not so sure about that. Still, I do regret never having known her. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But... What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Kellogg was... Let's just say he was more complex than you might think. After what he's done, I'm surprised to hear you say that. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. 
He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Sean, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. It seems like a strange choice, I, on more than one level. I can understand how it might seem that way. It was, it is something new. New discoveries are always welcome. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. 
You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him? Like you would a real boy? I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is far closer to what you expected. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but... If in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. Sean, I often wonder what the Institute's founders would think of our accomplishments. Perhaps someday our synths can reclaim the Commonwealth. Hey there. Report, You're clearly sir. defective, and I intend to report this. Hi, Doc. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. If that's how you feel, why not leave? Because we could do so much more. But no, everyone is obsessed with these damn synths. It's wasted potential. That's what it is. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Scanning. Subject identified. Welcome to the Institute, sir. All systems nominal. Dr. Higgs. There's a lot of hubris around here lately. You know? I don't care for it. What others call complaining, I call critical thinking and challenging assumptions. Carry on, sir. Sean, perhaps someday our synths can reclaim the Commonwealth. It's an honor to have you here, sir. <clears throat> 
I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. That's it. I know you'll achieve great things here. Hey. We are Greetings, already. sir. Hey, Eve. Have you seen my notebook laying around? No. Did you leave it somewhere else? I can't remember. Oh, well, I don't need it right now. For such a smart kid, you're a bit unorganized. Well, I prefer to call it or <clears throat> Dad says I'm as good as he is with computers. I must I'm be trying the to learn chess. In the the computer always beats me. As the Institute's first person was saying, I'll give try me to the set creeps, a good example. You know? They seem, I don't know, cold. <laughs> you know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. Doc. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Welcome, welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you'll come to think of the Institute as your home. What do you do here? Oh, I'm in charge of housing and provisions. It's my mission to ensure that everyone lives a comfortable and productive life. You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Newton. Good to see you. Feeling well today? When the lights go down and the stars come out, man just forgets about all his troubles. Reporting status. Off. Are you seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads together? What now? You're here. Glad you made it. On the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Excuse me. Maybe I should take Mankind me. redefined. It's, it's catchy, it's isn't it? We're all well, looking forward to working with you. For us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me a lot? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. Sometimes you have to lean on the other departments a little to get what you need. Hey, Doc. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? No problems here. Good to hear. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated Institute technology to fall into the wrong hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one. Ready. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough probes. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work.
You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, fearlessness, and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Dr. Ayo. Yes, what is it? What do you want? And please, make it quick. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Uh huh. Be on the lookout for unusual synth behavior. Your presence here is a great gift. Almost no. done. <sighs> Just need to Excuse me, Doctor. Primary drive servo. Kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? What makes you ask? I'm a complete stranger to you. I suppose when I heard your story, I just, well, I felt sorry for you. You've suffered more tragedy than any one person deserves. Your whole world is gone. I'm sorry. I know that was a very personal question. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase-out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. Have you had time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274? Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plan. Doctor. I wonder how the Welcome. Walrock family is. So doing. good to have you here. Young Do Lolly must I be close to taking mm -hmm. by now. I look forward to learning more about. In that case, let me give you a brief overview. Sure. As the name implies, 
The bios. Our most important directive is to ensure the health. To that end, we cult. We've even started to explore the idea. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet. Right. Seems like there's nothing you would. Hard work. Eh? I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time. I'm not sure. Great. Uh -huh. In any case. You mentioned. In, uh -huh. He's our top biologist, Doctor Volker. You won't find. Good to see you. Huh? Is it true that suddenly 77 has been discontinued? That says I'm as good as he is. That was my favorite one. What are you one? going to tell me about this mysterious phase three? No, I can't talk about that. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Excuse me, doctor? Ah, point, it's you. It for fun. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Well, Don't worry, I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you, I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement.